What is going on guys, Ryan Nelson here, and today I wanted to share with you something I've had in my photo bag since I don't even know when. I've had these forever. I go long periods of time without using them, but when I do need them, they are essential. Here, what I'm talking about, extension tubes. Oh, oh, extension tubes, they're kind of fun. If you don't know what an extension tube is, it's basically just a little piece, little ring, that makes your lens sit a little bit farther away from the sensor. There's no glass in here, nothing in here. And what this does is basically gives you a little bit more flexibility in your lens. You do get a shorter minimum focus length. So say your minimum focus length is 16 inches. You may now be able to go down to 12 inches or eight inches or three inches. It really depends. Now there are multiple sizes of these things. I have three of them for whatever reason. I can only find two of them at the moment. But right now I have a 12 millimeter and a 20 millimeter extension. Sometimes you can stack these things together. And now I have a 32, which is essentially the one I can't find. It's around here somewhere. I haven't seen it for a while. Like I said, I do go long periods of time without needing these or thinking about using them. But when I do, when I do, they're great. You may be asking me, why do you need these? Why do you need some extension tubes? Well, it allows you to get closer and closer and closer and dangerously close. Wow, my lens is dirty. I've actually been using them quite a lot in my B-roll shots, especially the road mic shots, the little road wireless goes, they're so small. I needed to get a little bit closer in there with my B-roll shots, slapped an extension tube on there, boom, got a better, tighter, more in focus B-roll shot. If you ever have to do any macro photography, anybody's ever asked you to do jewelry, you need to get some really close up B-roll shots, any of these things, an extension tube will basically give you more of a macro lens feel. You'll be able to get in there, get tighter, narrow that focus on exactly what you want, fill that frame a little bit more. Think if you're like shooting an ant and you wanna get that little ant pulling that little stick, I should really have a B-roll shot of some ants, but I don't, so. But just think about that, like the big ant pulling the stick, you're out there trying to shoot that and it's just like this tiny little speck in this huge frame. If you had an extension tube on your camera, you could really show off that ant. Why am I talking about ants? Where I find myself using these extension tubes a lot lately is when I'm just trying to use my 70 to 200 lens, which I have right here. It's got a pretty long minimum focus length and sometimes I'm trying to shoot something that's a little bit smaller. Sometimes I can't find myself filling the frame as much as I would like to. So I put an extension tube on there, get a little bit closer. Sometimes that's not enough, so I put a bigger extension tube on there, and there we go. So now I've got the frame filled. It's exactly the shot that I'm looking for, and everything else just kind of falls out of focus just the way I was looking to do it. So what are the upsides of using extension tubes? One, they're cheap. If you buy the Canon brand, I've got one Canon and I've got a couple of off-brand ones. The Canon ones I think are around $100 a piece. The off-brand ones, I'm pretty sure I bought an entire set for about $89. Now this was a few years ago, so they may have gone up in price a little bit since then, but I'm gonna link them down below in the description. Check them out, check them out for yourself. I do notice that the Canon one does seal a lot tighter than the off-brand. I get a little bit more lens wiggle with the off-brand ones. They're not right exactly to spec, but they do get the job done really well. Now, if you really just need a cheap set of these, you can get them without the autofocus pins, which will turn your lens into full manual focus. But the Canon brand does come with the autofocus pins and so does the off-brand. I don't even remember what brand this is. It doesn't even say it. it's that much of an off-brand. It doesn't have a brand. The unbranded. Unbranded. What kind is that? Unbranded. That's a good name. Unbranded. So the upside to these, they're light, they're portable, you can throw them in your bag, you almost don't even notice they're there, which is great because sometimes you don't need them. It's better than carrying around another macro lens. The downside of it, okay, you may have to open up a, a stop, maybe a half a stop, even maybe just a third of a stop because every little bit that you go and you move that lens away, you're gonna need a little bit more light. It's not a huge deal, not a deal breaker, but that's really the only downside other than it's not a true macro lens. It's gonna do if you're not doing a ton of macro photography. If that's all you're doing, definitely get a macro lens. But if you only do it from time to time, 
extension tubes. Way to go. All right, everyone, thanks for hanging out today. As always, if you like this video, if you find it useful at all, valuable, hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next time.